The Executive Committee of Harvard University's Alumni Association on Monday announced their unreserved support for President Claudine Gay. The group's backing comes as the Harvard Corporation, one of the governing bodies running the university, is expected to announce a decision on the fate of Gay on Tuesday, a source familiar with the university's thinking told to us. The growing chorus of support from Harvard's community may mean that she will survive the firestorm of pressure to resign or be fired by school leadership. A petition signed by hundreds of faculty members cited Gay's skills in brokering dialogue between both sides of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Her communication with the community, alumni leaders and supporters, as well her empathetic, moral and skilled leadership, another letter signed by more than 800 black alumni commended Gay's commitment to fighting anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and racism. While weighing complicated issues, Gay has faced calls for her removal for failing to effectively denounce threats of violence against Jewish students during the contentious congressional testimony last week of three university presidents that led to the resignation of University of Pennsylvania. President Liz Magill on Saturday, President Gay is the right leader to guide the university during this challenging time, the committee wrote in a letter to school officials. She is thoughtful, she is kind, she is resolutely dedicated to the growth and well-being of our very diverse community. We recognize that there was disappointment in her testimony this past week. President Gay has pointed this out and apologized for any pain her testimony caused a powerful demonstration of her integrity, determination, and courage. Gay apologized last week for testimony before a House committee on December 5, in which she, Magill and MIT President Sally Kornbluth failed to explicitly say calls for genocide of Jews would violate their school's codes of conduct. Harvard has encountered difficulty combating a rise in anti-Semitic incidents on campus, although recent claims of anti-Semitism at Penn were considered far worse. Still, a growing number of members of Congress, donors and other prominent leaders have called for Gay to step down.